In this video you will learn everything you need to know about researching and upgrading in Dredge. Sit back and enjoy. Also, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any future content. Researching is a key component of the game, allowing you to gain access to new and better pieces of equipment. It is unlocked as a mechanic as soon as you complete the first pursuit of the game. In it, you will gain your first research part, the currency used to unlock equipment upgrades. Each specific upgrade tree is laid out in such a way that new equipment is locked behind previous researchable upgrades, each one costing a variable amount of research parts. Those are obtained either through pursuits and optional tasks, through dredging or just by buying them at the traveling merchant. Once you've gotten a specific amount of them, you can head to any port and open the research menu, represented by a gear, browse different research trees and invest in them. However, equipment that you unlock won't become immediately available to you. Researching them just makes them available for purchase at any shipwright or shipyard. You'll need to buy and install them if you really want to use them. All in all, research is a must if you want to get far in the game, so invest your research parts. Different fishing rods allow you to fish on different habitats, better crab pots and nets will hold more fish, upgraded engines will extend your reach, and better lights will make it so that night travel is not as dangerous. The selection of available research is large and might be a bit overwhelming at the beginning. That's why I give you a brief insight into what you should focus on when researching. First thing you always need to keep in mind is that you will need specific fishing rods to catch fish in new areas, so you should plan ahead and unlock them early or just save a few research parts for when you need them. To finish the game you basically just need to research these three rods, but there are many more options for a more comfortable game experience. With this in mind, one of the first things to unlock should be the jet drive engine. This is almost the fastest engine regarding the speed per slot and will also help you escape from dangers. If you buy a few of these engines and get hit, only one of them will get destroyed, which will result in no major speed loss and allows you to still escape the danger. For the nets and the crab pots, you do the research depending on your needs. For finishing the game, the basic ones are completely sufficient, but if you have money problems for instance, you should research more and better ones but they are the best passive source of income. You can install upgrades that improve your boat's health points, expand its cargo spaces and increase the amount of spaces you can assign equipment to. You will get access to the dry dock and the upgrades as soon as you pay off your debt with the mayor. There are six different types of upgrades throughout the upgrade tree. You can unlock rod spaces, net spaces, engine spaces, light spaces, cargo spaces and upgrade your hull. The hull upgrade will give you one more health point each and also more cargo space, but it's also the most expensive upgrade. In order to craft them, you will need to find materials through dredging. There are dredge spots spread throughout the game's world, usually found near shipwrecks. Additionally, you will need to pay a specific amount of money per upgrade. However, and unlike with equipment, researching a boat upgrade will have it automatically installed. There is no perfect order of what should be upgraded first, so you should just go by your needs. If you have further questions, let me know in the comments. Check out my other dredge videos tips, tricks and crazy challenges. See you on the next one.